So, um, Emos was launched in 2009, right? So, from then till now, it has been so long. So it's long. been so long. So long. <laughs> Do you, like, have you seen a change in how couples um, interact with each other throughout the years? Like, yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so um, happy to still be doing what I do because uh, clients who who come to me, some of them are saying, yeah, I've known about you for years. Oh, for years. And I'm like, I'm so glad I'm still here. <laughs> you know, I'm so glad I'm seeing the fruits of like the, the being here mm. because uh, they think that they can just sit around and procrastinate uh, and they don't have no idea that actually like moment by moment like I could I can just like some some days like I just want to pack my bags you know and just do something else like I'm I'm not stupid I can easily do something else earn more money why am I still doing this so sometimes when they come in and say that I I'm just like I'm happy I'm here but at the same time I'm like mm, like stop stop like taking me for granted you know kind of a thing but yeah yeah it's been a long time so um, anyway. So I get to see that because I've been I've been long enough for people yeah. to say I've heard about you many times or I've I've, uh, I've I've wanted to see you so I'm I'm glad I get that and uh, I'm also happy that the the types of clients that I'm seeing are also younger clients because uh, yeah. previously when I started my practice like I would have clients who would have been like in unhappy marriages for like 10 15 uh, years oh. and uh, then. Um, uh, who have vaginismus because they didn't know who to go to 10-15 years and then it was like two years and then sometimes it's like uh, six months and sometimes it's like the year, the day after their wedding uh, when they found out they have vaginismus so there, there are people who are a lot more proactive uh, seeking help much earlier where the goodwill in the relationship is still there as opposed to like oh yeah it's been 10 years and it's been like this for 10 years and uh, I don't see how it's going to change and vaginismus is a very difficult uh, uh, condition to resolve when in reality with the right support at the right time you can actually overcome vaginismus or uh, different kinds of conditions very quickly mm. so it's it's really it's not it, you know so that's why I sometimes feel very frustrated like people going to purport like coaches who don't actually know what they are really like they're not well trained and so uh, um, what this happens is um, besides wasting time and energy and money the energy is the part that I'm more concerned about because when people actually uh, go to this and that uh, person and uh, they don't get the help that they need and the person doesn't really know what they're talking about and just trying to make a living or using them as guinea pigs what's going to happen is they may become very uh, disillusioned and they may think like they are the ones at fault and it's hopeless for them and um, every relationship is very important because if they don't, don't get the support at the right time they may they may, um, they may end up you know um, breaking up, getting divorced and um, who is it on you know um, it's, it's basically practitioners like not doing them a disservice by not being the best practitioner that they can be. So I, I really feel that it's important to do their research about who they want to hire. Mm. That's true. Okay. Um, what about couples perception on sex and intimacy? Like do you think that couples nowadays are more open to talk about these kind of things? I think, uh, or do you still have to like cook it out of them? I, I think when they decide to make an appointment, they, they, they know that they want to resolve the issue. So a lot of times they already have done their research, they would have watched mm -hmm. several of my YouTube videos, which is very different from when I first started. People coming in, giving me the black face and uh, being actually sometimes quite rude. And Even I, though they booked up. Yeah, yeah, because um, okay. they may have okay. a reluctant partner come in. Mm -hmm. so, uh, it's quite different because now with, uh, with uh, more exposure, people know more what they are um, expecting and uh, they more, know more who I am. So they are a lot more ready to open up more quickly. And it, it, it actually doesn't really matter like what is their race, nationality, gender. Uh, what matters is um, uh, me just like being comfortable with myself and holding space and uh, assuring them like it's confidential. So uh, when when they when they come in, um, they they uh, they know that I'm I'm on the side and I'm I'm a neutral third party who's trained and has a lot of experience and I'm just here to help them and it's not about them liking me because sometimes the some of the things that I say maybe they may not like me saying it mm -hmm. um, because I need to protect both of them I need to pro uh, protect both of them and there are people who assume that because I'm a woman I will side the woman it's not true. I, I also would not want to put up with abuse uh, uh, towards the man and in fact sometimes um, 
uh, a lot of the stereotyping and the, the generalizations like men are always horny and women are always this and uh, all these kinds of um, uh, messages that we get uh, actually really doesn't help them to just be the individual that they are. Mm. It's not true that all men just want sex. Some men are some men really want uh, uh, really value the romance more than the uh, their partner. That's a that's a stereotype. It's a stereotype. So when I when I work with people, really I I just um, bear in mind like certain tendencies, but I also have to keep in mind that I'm actually I'm I am with an individual now, and I know we work mm -hmm. with this individual. 